Do you think she's still looking out for you and watching over you guys? Yeah. When is that usually when you feel her presence? When I'm down here by myself and I'm mad or something and I can just talk and I don't want to talk to anyone. She's always with me. Oh no, like... Why'd they have to take her? It wasn't even her time or anything. Yeah. So guys, Preston, Paul, Paige, and Daniel, we're in Philadelphia, about to meet the Pie family. Now, these guys are two grandparents raising three grandkids, and they've been through a lot. Take a look at this tape, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hi, ABC. Hi, ABC. We're, we're the Pie family. family. I'm Bill Pye. I'm the grandpa. So, more than anything else in the world, Carol and Bill Pye love being grandparents. Now, 13 years ago, their daughter Sandra had three beautiful kids, William, Samantha, and little Joey. When the grandchildren were born, I said, my God, this is, this is something, you know? You can love them, you can hug them, you can let them visit. That's the beautiful thing about having grandchildren when they're first being born. So then eight years ago, something horrible happened. Sandra's husband, Jose, went to sleep and never woke up. He died of a massive brain aneurysm. To have to bury our son-in-law at the age of 29 is, is just something hard to take. Overnight, Sandra lost her husband and became a single mom raising three kids under the age of six. She was overwhelmed, needless to say, but she was going to try and figure out a way to make it work. And then tragedy struck again. And my daughter, Sandra, she had uh, developed breast cancer, so because uh, things were hard, uh, we moved the children and my daughter in here. They had to take care of her and us together because she had cancer. She went through a lot of chemotherapy to try and fight it, but in the end, she just couldn't beat it. And what's crazy is, the year after her husband died in his sleep, Sandra passed away of cancer. I didn't expect my daughter to pass away before me, I mean. She was only 28 years old. She left three kids behind. That left us uh, as the, uh, the sole guardians for the children. I'm really thankful that they took us in when the, um, my mom and dad died. So Grandma and Grandpa Pie are doing everything they can to really keep this family together. So this is home and the grandchildren are here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I love them. I love every one of them. And uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure that they get raised proper setting as my own children did and to see them go on to have their own families. Here's the thing, grandma and grandpa don't have a lot. And the grandkids, well, they're getting a little bit older now. I mean, Will's 14, Samantha's 11, and little Joey's 10. The kids are getting bigger. They've outgrown what we considered at the time our retirement. The little money that Bill and Carol save for retirement is now going toward the kids. And then there's the future. These guys are starting to worry about how they're going to pay for these kids' college. We're trying our best. It's been tough on us financially, too. To make matters worse, the house they're all living in is in really rough shape. We have cracks developing. You can see them here. Especially by the windows. Uh, lead paint on all of the windowsills. We have cracks now. It's all the way up from the floor to the foundation. I don't have a ceiling, and whenever, whenever someone jumps around, it's always dust falling in my eyes. We have the vinyl asbestos tile down here in the basement floor. We have a, a hole here. There's a couple of more throughout. So it's, it's important to me to have the children safe from any asbestos that we have here. That's where we come in. I think we can get in there and really help out these guys, really help out two grandparents who've had to become parents all over again. The teenagers uh, are growing up, and it's hard for an old goat like me to try and relate, really. It's tragic just that uh, trying to get on with life and make things easier, that uh, you, you have to help out the family members, which I, I really don't mind and I, I cherish it, but it does make it hard. And if ABC can find it in their heart to give us a helping hand, I'll be grateful. What else can I say? Bye, Bye ABC. ABC! Thanks Thank for coming to our house. house. City of Brotherly Hello. Love welcome, Jim. We're glad to have you around. So what do you say? Can we make this happen? Yes. Uh, well, get your hands in here, people. Let's do this. Let's do it! Hi, 
him will follow me. Good morning, Pi family! Bill, Carol, Will, Samantha, Little Joey, wake up and come on out here! Surprised them. I think so. Hi. Hi, family. I'd like you to meet the design team. Preston, Paul, Paige, and Daniel. And here's the cool thing. Paul's actually from Philadelphia. All right. That's right. <laughs> you just missed. Uh, it was the 300th birthday of uh, Ben Franklin. <laughs> same birthday, right? Oh, same birthday. 300 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, man, we uh, we saw your tape and we heard your guys' story, and I just wanted to say that I think you guys are the greatest grandparents that any kid could wish for, man. You guys have really stepped in and really taken care of these kids when they kind of lost everything. So I know you guys have been through a lot, but we're here to help. And uh, sounds like you guys could use a little, huh? I appreciate it all and any. We accept it. <laughs> so you guys have become parents all over again, huh? Yeah, this is uh, family number two. Uh, we raised uh, four girls of our own. And then uh, all of a sudden, it's it's hard, but you know, <laughs> we love them, my babies. <laughs> they've been through so much, you know. They've lost their daughter, but they they held their family together by raising their grandkids and raised them as their own. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen this week, okay? We're going to work all week trying to build you guys a house that's bigger and better and healthier for you guys to live in. Meanwhile, you guys are going on vacation to a wonderful little resort called the Caribe Hilton in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah! <laughs> and here's what needs to happen. We need to get you packed, we need to check out your house, get you in the limo, and off to vacation. Sound good? Sounds yeah, great. All right, well, Pi family, show me the house. All right, Design team, get a plan. We're going right. to need one. All right. OK. So we went inside the house, and I realized, wow, this is a pretty old house. So how, how old is this thing? How old is this house? The house was built in the uh, early 50s. The whole house, like if you look at it, it's kind of it's kind of doing this. It's kind of leaning. The house the pies were living in was built in the 50s, and the foundation is going. It's got giant cracks. So you walk around that house, and you kind of have to do this with your head just to kind of keep everything level. So this was the house you were going to retire in? Right, and uh, this is the gathering spot for, for all the kids, uh, both in the neighborhood and for the family. It's tough on grandma and grandpa. They thought they were going into retirement, and here they have to do it all over again. This is the uh, the one shower the family has. For the whole group, right? For all five. And this is not a lot of room. The thing is, the bathroom's really small. They only have one for the whole family. And the windows have got lead paint on it. Look at this. We have mold on the ceiling. Is this the lead paint they were talking about? That is lead paint. Oh. Grandpa Bill is really concerned about the house. I mean, not only is he concerned about being a dad all over again, but he's concerned about the house itself. Is this uh, where you having some leaks right here? Well, the concrete's all cracked. Yeah. So I bet if we go in the basement, we'll find a lot of damp. You know, we'll see where water's coming in. That's seeping kind of through the wall. Now that's causing a little water damage going inside there. Who's bed? That's someone's bedroom. Isn't that's it? Willie's. Oh, Will, you sleep right down there, right? Yeah. This is where Willie's living. Yeah. So you can even see this. That's seepage. Coloration. Look at this up here. Cardboard. Yeah, insulation. Yeah, right. cardboard. So this is an office. Right. And this is a bedroom. Like a work And this space. is storage. Yeah. Laundry. The floor we're standing on, it's uh, vinyl asbestos. Asbestos and lead are very common problems in homes, but they're not that easy to take care of. And asbestos abatement is a specialty that needs to be done that the Pye family couldn't do themselves. How, how are you? I'm 60. Will's 14, uh, Samantha's 11, and little Joey's 10. There's such a, you know, um, a generation gap, but they really kind of embrace that. You guys are parents again, and you actually wake up and probably cook these guys breakfast, lunch, and dinner, huh? Yes. What are these guys like as parents? Is he a pretty good cook? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's really good. Is he pretty good on the grill, too? Is he a pretty good barbecue guy? Yeah, he's good at everything. William is that grandpa that you, you sort of you see on the weekends and you love going to ball games with and you love going fishing with and doing all that grandpa kind of stuff and he has so much energy. But at the same time, here's a guy who's who's really thinking more about retirement. He's thinking about sort of kicking back. So I'm guessing things are pretty tight around here. Yeah. yeah. So William and Carol, who have saved for retirement their whole lives, are now having to spend that money not on themselves but on this surprise new family that they've been granted. You guys are grandparents, but all of a sudden, 
he became parents again. So less than two years, they lost their dad. And, and, and their then, mom. And then their mom, and you guys lost your daughter. And that's really hard because you don't ever expect your kids to like go before you, you know? Although the, we focus on Bill and Carol being grandparents and acting as parents, they also suffered a great loss. And they're in their own state of mourning. Because there was times like I wanted to give up sometimes, but I know I have to be there for them. But some days it's pretty hard. Do you think she's still looking out for you and watching over you guys? Yeah. When is that usually when you feel her presence? When I'm down here by myself and I'm mad or something, I'm like distraught and I don't want to talk to anyone. She's always with me. Oh no, like. Cause it's pissing me off like what <laughs> why'd they have to take her? It wasn't even her time or anything. That's gotta be everybody's worst nightmare to lose your mom and your dad within two years. And you've really stepped up and you guys have just done an awesome job with those kids. But I know it's not always easy. But like seeing these guys succeed and do well is making you guys happy. Yeah. It's reward. Awesome.